Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today I have come on to film my video for Stampin' Around the World video for August 2024. This is, the theme is water. So I'm going to have a wee play. So once you've watched my video, please pop down into the description box below and have a look at what all the other wonderful demonstrators who are from around the world um, have done with this theme. I've decided to have a, do a wee scene card, a sort of a wee scene. So I've got Watercolour World, which is just basically a map of the world. And I've got Under the Moon. I've just got a couple of wee ideas. They, it may not work. I've got a blueberry bushel card base. I've got three white layers. One being smaller than the other two. So I'll keep that out. And put these two to the side. I've got blueberry bushel, misty moonlight and summer splash here. For my colours. And I'm just reaching down to get some blending brushes because as I say this idea may or may not work but my idea is that I'm going to make a background here with a little of the misty moonlight and a little summer splash and then I'm going to stamp on it with blueberry bushel. If it doesn't work, that's okay. Look, there is another way that I might be able to achieve what I'm looking for. But let's just, I'm not overthinking this. I'm just going to kind of just get some. I'm going to take the worst off there and I'm just putting some colour down. Not looking, I'm not looking in any way for even coverage or anything like that. It's just basically to get the white away. And then we'll put just some little bits of misty moonlight in here. Just in the, the gaps, maybe for the um, oh, me, but do you know what it is? Is this foam coming off this pad I'm not quite sure what's happened oh well I forgot to take that off well there we've got lots of texture right that should just be enough just to give a background oh yeah and then in this so yeah I'm thinking that we should be able to use this as sort of stamp over the top and kind of just give a sea feeling um, block <laughs> I'm like what do I need to do? yeah a block a block could be a help have I got, have I got a bigger one wrong door this block's bigger just that's longer. I don't know where my long block is at the moment. Right, so I'm just going to ink this up and just, I'm not sure if this is going to do what I want. I'll stamp off first, yeah. It's a bit deep. It's just basically adding a bit more texture to my sea. Oh. I am stamping off first because this Summer Splash is quite a new pad and it's a bit juicy. Oh, and then I forgot that. Well, well, we'll have some dark bits at the edge then. Sometimes you just have to go with it. <laughs> 
wasn't really what I was intending there, right? I'm getting a right old mess now because the block is so big and I've got little hands. Right, off, on, off, on. So I've got some more texture in there. I didn't really intend that, but let's just go with it. Right, now my idea here is that I stamp the whole world, which won't all completely fit on here, but enough. So I'm just going to use this in its... Keep it in there. I could get the big block, but as I say, I do have problems with little hands. Now, I'm going to clean that off again because these edges here, I've created a halo there because I was a bit too heavy handed with my ink pad. So let's be a bit lighter this time and not have that halo. Really, there's no need to um, go hard and I tell people that every day but somehow or another I managed to not heed my own advice I'm going to be very careful put that down and try not move it let's see what we get Yay! We got what I wanted. I just thought that would work. Right. So now with the blueberry bushel, I just want to use the boat and some dolphins and just put some life in the sea. And that is it. It was just a simple idea use, using, a, using to stamp set so we'll just have a wee boat here where else can a boat fit in there do you think and oops So I've got three wee boats in here. And some dolphins. it just a fun that's all I was after it was just a bit of fun let's have another couple of dolphins dolphins have always made me happy and a wee uh, my grandchildren well two of my grandchildren live here in the UK but I have two grandchildren who live here in Australia and I'm always explaining to them that they see dolphins there at home and we see them here in the UK as well. So it's one of the things that we have in common. That we can all see dolphins. So I'm going to pop this wee dolphin. He's leaping out near the UK. Well, he's leaping the distance, PJ. <laughs> The UK and America, but hey, right, so that makes me happy. Now, I didn't think about a sentiment. And of course, neither of those stamp sets have got sentiments. 
is there a sentiment in the beauty of the deep? No, there's not. It's my other watery. And we do have... Where's the other stamp set? Beach day. Maybe just the happy birthday, actually, would be a good one. And I'll just do it on a scrap. So I've got a bit of a scrap here. Let's put the dolphins in the wee tub to get washed. That's it on the boat before we... And we'll just stick with this blueberry bushel. Lovely script on that, isn't it? So now we've used three stamp sets. Hey ho, that's all right, though. Nothing to say we can't. And I think I might just fussy cut this out. of the excess because it just gets in my way I will go in and tidy that up as well just So kind of a quick and easy card just for fun. And that is kind of what I like, it's just keeping it all fun. So anyone who's having a birthday in a different part of the world from you, this would be appropriate. Because the world has become a much smaller place these last few years. Right, we'll get rid of all these bits. That and... I'm just putting things that need washed and clean. Um, over there, I snip away. I'll take this off. Right, and then we'll just make up our card. So, this is quite simply going to go onto a white background and then onto the card. So it's an interesting card actually to look at with children because you can talk about the shapes of the different countries and where they are, are or different continents, where they are in relation to each other. And we can talk about, you know, how much water there is in the world as compared to land. I'm to put that across there. I don't want to obscure Australia and I don't want to obscure the UK because that's important to me. And I'm 
We could put that on with dimensionals, but I'm actually going to glue it flat because if I was popping this, you know, to be posted internationally, I want to keep it as economical as possible. And then we'll pop that onto the card. And then we need to pop this inside and I'm just wondering then actually should I pull out my boats and dolphins to do something on the inside. So let's just take this block, we can have a boat. Bring the boat down. There we go. Made our own little scene. <laughs> and we'll bring back the blueberry bush link because that's what we used on the outside. Oh gosh, what a mess I'm getting in. Oh no, that's not good. Right, let's see if we can. The ink is still on the stamps. I'm going to take the other stamps away. I don't do this at home. But sometimes, if you don't re ink it and you manage to just get it back where it should have been, that's not too bad. That's a bit better. There is a slight halo, but. Right, close that up, put them back in the wash box in case they go missing. And pop this inside. Do you like to have a go at fun cards like that? Do you ever look at your stamp sets to see which ones work together. I don't know where I put my bone folder. Oh, here we go, here's one. So there you have Stampin' Around the World video of August 2024. Theme is water and I hope you will go into the description box below to see what others have done with this theme. Thank you so much. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe and please leave. Please press the bell icon so you can see if I'm coming on again. And please sprinkle some support around our hop. Thank you so much. See you on the next one.